embraces the role of comforter-in-chief, kissing a child who witnessed the fury of Hurricane Harvey, meeting survivors for the first time. This was a president rolling up his sleeves, serving evacuees food and a side order of humor. My hands are too big. Storms produce politically treacherous waters for presidents, but Donald Trump tried to take the optimistic path. I think that, you know, because this is Texas, you'll probably do it in six months, I have a feeling. Yeah? <laughs> no, I think for a lot of places, maybe it never gets done. I think, I think in your case, it'll get done very quickly. In the west of the city, there is no quick fix. And the worst of it isn't over yet. Residents are trying to salvage their belongings by boat. If you think about it, the water's rising and it's going to stay there. And with our heat that we have here, just sitting in the shade, everything's going to start to mold and mildew. And even if you're on the second floor, all that's going to be, you're going to be breathing it in, you're going to be walking in it. So it's, it's best just to get out until that water recedes. I think it's important that he, you know, he come down and, and get out here and walk in this water and see what it's like. You know, put his foot in it and shake their hands, let him know that he's there for him. You know? And I believe there's a, a lot of people that believe that. Well, as water recedes elsewhere, here in Westchester, they're taking more on because local officials have had to release water from reservoirs to stop them overflowing. And the local people can only really watch and wait. They say the water is contaminated with E. coli, their health and their homes under threat. This is the first time these houses have flooded, and they've been here since 1966. Hurricanes are kind of a way of life down here, um, but this is something different. The president said he didn't visit the disaster zone earlier in the week because he didn't want to get in the way of the emergency response. Now he's done what many were hoping for. We looked out the window and tried to find the ark to see if it was coming down the street. Didn't come. But you guys did, and that's what counts. Thank you. It will be difficult to deliver everything this city needs. When the water finally drains, so too could the focus on people's plights. The real work has just begun. Cordelia Lynch, Sky News, Houston, Texas.